Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever, wherever you are watching this. My name is Marcus Octavius, and you are in the foxhole. Wow. Um, it, it seems like when it rains, it pours, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, just when it seems like we're coming out of an issue involving uh, the coronavirus, uh, COVID-19, I believe they call it. Uh, here we go with marches. Um, for those of you who tuned in last week, I made a very impassioned speech. Um, many of you have reached out to me via my Facebook page and said, thank you, we appreciate it, and uh, many forms of encouragement. As a matter of fact, looking back on it now, there was very little negative, if any, negative encouragement, uh, which encourages me to keep going with things like this. Um, I try very hard not to make uh, my musical endeavors uh, political. However, in days like this, it's kind of hard not to. Um and, and, and I felt very strongly about what I said last week. And, <clears throat> excuse me, I felt very strongly about it then, and I feel very strongly about it now. Um, and a lot of you seem to agree with me, so thank you very much for that. I appreciate it very much. Uh, so let's get to the issue at hand, um, which is not necessarily what's going on in the real world, by the way. If you are marching, um, and I know some of you are, Please be safe. There is still a virus out there. As a matter of fact, um, since a lot of the states and major cities have lifted bans or curfews, the number of cases has spiked. I've read that there is a number of reasons for this. Um, nonetheless, it is still out there. So please be careful. Please be safe. Try to maintain six feet and please wear a mask, whether you believe it works or not, because doing something in this case is better than doing nothing. So, <clears throat> excuse me, to the rundown itself, I am happy to announce that on the weekend of June the 26th, in keeping with the sort of pseudo-military wartime theme of the Foxhole, we're having what I like to call the Foxhole Shore Weave Le Shore Leave Weekend. Uh, on Friday the 26th, I will be dropping a playlist, if some of you remember a few weeks back, I told you I'll be working on what I would call a foxhole special assignment, which is uh, genre-based music, a, a little bit more mainstream, not necessarily the alternative music that you would expect out of a standard foxhole playlist. Uh, and I'm going to go with the 80s theme, so maybe 80s music. It will be mostly what I would call lost classics, which are music songs uh, from a particularly popular artist, like, you know, a Tina Turner or a U2 but songs that may have charted but are not their most well-known hits. And in, that's in keeping with the Fossil list, which is as few mainstream artists as possible, or if they do a song, find something that's not quite as big, if that makes sense. But that's the way we're going to do it. The following day, the 27th, of course, is going to be the Fossil playlist itself. And then the 28th is something that I've been meaning to get to, obviously, with the world trying to blow up again. <clears throat> excuse me, it kind of got delayed, um, and that's the Drum Circle Etiquette class, which will drop uh, Sunday the 28th of June uh, at 7 o'clock. Um, now, there will be a Facebook page, and of course, if you follow my Twitter, there will be a, a notice made there as well. June, July 12th will be my live Mideast drumming class. Please note it, there will be Facebook pages, pages made for the Shore Leave Weekend, and for the drum class, please keep your eyes out for them. The Facebook link is right down there. July 12th, I thought about doing it on July 4th, but that's a weekend. And for a lot of people, it'll be a three-day weekend. And I was like, you know what? That may not be the best time to do a class because not everybody's focus is going to be on that, even given the limited circumstances that we find ourselves in right now. So July 12th will be... The live drumming class, I believe it is on a Sunday, uh, should be around 7 o'clock. Please keep your eye on my Facebook page for that, and also if you follow me on Twitter, keep an eye on that. And I want to give a special shout out to a friend of mine, Jareem Lehman, who is a friend of mine uh, based out of Asheville, North Carolina. Uh, he does a bit of DJing and spinning at uh, the 27 Club. If you've ever been there, it's definitely an alternative type spot. Uh, definitely has a different vibe to it. Uh, he spins a lot of music, and we've been chatting back and forth since a lot of this uh, thing has been going on. Uh, he got me hip to an artist that I posted on my 
playlist either last week or the week before, Saul Williams, who did a cover of U2's uh, Sunday Bloody Sunday. So I wanted to give proper credit where it's due. As many of you know, the Terminus Isolation uh, group who did a lot of DJing online on the Twitch channel, on their various Twitch channels, I should say, uh, definitely gave me a lot of avenues to work to provide you guys with some of the best alternative goth, uh, agro punk, electro, whatever you may want to call it, that I can provide. <clears throat> so, again, Jareen, thank you very much. You helped me out a great deal. Now, on to the list. Uh, the reason that you guys tune in in the first place. Uh, the Weeknd, The Smiths, Susie and the Banshees, Typo Negative, and Romeo Void are back on the back on the list. They are back in the foxhole. They are joined by a couple of artists, um, Jonathan Bree, who is a New Zealand-based uh, indie pop, broke pop, chamber pop, uh, I don't know, that's kind of a, a weird combination, artist, uh, over 15 recordings, whether he was in a band, uh, solo, or collaborative effort. Uh, his music's very unusual. I discovered him perhaps a year, two years ago, um, and he sort of followed the, the Daft Punk model, the Gorillaz model, and doesn't really do a lot of stuff with his face. He actually wears a mask and has a, like, what, what looks like a stocking over it. it. It's very unusual. It's very much an artsy sort of approach to music. Um, it has a bit of a 60s vibe to it. And I decided to go ahead and add him to the list. I debated it for a long time because it's not really dance-centric. It's not necessarily something that you would play and get people on the dance floor. But I was like, it's still an alternative artist. still has a unique flavor to it. Add him to the list. Now, I'm going to butcher this name again. I deal with a lot of European names nowadays, guys. Uh, Hatari is an Iceland-based uh, industrial group. Um, they have one album, one extended play, and several singles to their credit. A uh, pretty good little group. They have a sort of, uh, there's no other way to describe it, a BDSM sort of look to their thing. Very much leather, uh, latex, some spikes. It's it's different it's very very different um at, at least visually speaking it's, it's it can be a little very different uh danny denial uh a seattle-based punk rapper which I, I thought was very interesting in a very good mix he definitely has a punk look but also does you know some some rap and he's a pretty good little rapper on his uh, Bandcamp page he says he sounds like everybody else well he doesn't sound like anybody i ever heard of so um, very unique artist, uh, does a lot of collaborative stuff, three albums to his credit. I figured, what the hell, throw him on there. And if you watched a couple of weeks or a couple of weeks or maybe, you know, it was definitely a couple of weeks ago, I, I described that at the end of every playlist, there's an artist of some sort, whether it's a band or a soloist, specifically from the 60s and 70s that I, th I feel has an influence on alternative music and the alternative aspect as a whole, not just punk music, not just goth music, but alternative music as a whole. Well, this week, uh, the senior officer, that's what I call them, keeping the military theme, the senior officer is somebody who's actually been on the list before, and that's The Doors. And now I'm gonna get a little bit more in depth into them. To their credit, they have eight gold albums in a row. They also have 33 million records sold in the U.S., over 100 worldwide. Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductees, I believe, in 93. Uh, interesting thing that I found out, they actually, the band, after Jim Morrison's death in 71, actually recorded three more albums. Uh, one in 71, another one in 72, and the final one was in 1978. Now, they mostly performed as a trio doing instrumental type stuff, but I found that to be very interesting. I, I, I had always assumed that after Morrison's death, it was a done deal, but it turns out that they tried to keep going as, as a trio. And they're all great musicians, uh, Raymond Zarek uh, and the others. All of them great musicians. Um, of course, for those of us who are a little bit more older or younger, depending on how you look at it, a lot of us remember the... 1991 Oliver Stone biopic of The Doors, which had Val Kilmer in the role of one Jim Morrison, and for my money, I thought he did a great job. <clears throat> Another interesting fact about The Doors, 
They've been featured on at least three 100 Greatest Artists list. Rolling Stone had them ranked number 41. VH1 had them ranked number 20. And on a 100 Greatest Artists of Hard Rock that VH1 did, The Doors were ranked number 32. And I found that to be very curious because for me, when you look at the aesthetic of a Jim Morrison and sort of the sound of The Doors, you can definitely hear it in bands that would later come around. I can even hear it in some aspects of Motley Crue, at least in the stage theatrics and things of that nature. Uh, the 12 minute opus, The End, I, I have selected as their, um, their song to close out this list. How fitting. Uh, also artists of note, uh, a rapper named Googie, G-O-O-G-I-E, if you can pronounce it better than that, you're better than I am folks. Uh, retro New Wave artist Gunship, uh, which this list is chock full of some retro New Wave in there. I think The Midnight is in there as well. And Goth Rock, three-piece, four-piece, I believe it's a four-piece, uh, second still, returns to the list. As always, please like, share, subscribe. Facebook, Twitter, and my email are down below there. Please be safe. Please enjoy the list, and I'll talk to you next time.